My name is Ralph Wayman. Um, I am currently the DPW superintendent in Borough of Alpine. I've been doing this for 39 years already. So I've been superintendent almost 30. Okay, I served in the U.S. Navy. Uh, I served aboard the USS Springfield as a guided missile light cruiser, which was the second fleet flagship. Also, it was the sixth fleet flagship. I served in both oceans. I transferred from the 6th Fleet to submarine duty on the USS Gate, that's the nuclear submarine, and I finished up my career in 1972. Michael Berkery, um, whom I grew up with on Oak Street at the time, uh, he was about five, six years older than me, and uh, I knew him. He was uh, one of the bigger boys on the block to look up to, and uh, he went to Vietnam. He was an officer, and he was killed in February of 1968. Uh, and the mayor and council at that time had renamed Oak Street uh, after Mike, and it is now Berkeley Place. It, it means a lot to me. Um, I, I always think of Mike um, because, again, I grew up with him, and I think of it all the time. All the fellows who in my age group served uh, was during the Vietnam War, during the draft, and they all had to go to the call of duty, and, uh, and some of them didn't come back. So it, it means a lot to me, and I think about it all the time. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Alpine's 2013 Memorial Day program. Memorial Day is a day when we pause in prayer to give thanks to the people who even now, as we together pray, are sacrificing their very lives and dreams for the way of life we as Americans hold sacred and dear. Michael joined our police force all the way back in 1976, was promoted to sergeant in 94, lieutenant in 2006, and was made captain in 2010. He's been involved with Alpine's school children and has taught the D.A.R.E. program since 1993. Michael, his wife Mary, Katie, his daughter, his extended family, friends and neighbors are all involved in the growing Michael Laviola Foundation which honors the memory of his late son and this foundation raises money for annual college scholarships to two seniors at the Northern Valley High School in Old Japan and donates to the National Institute of Health for research on pediatric scarcomas. We celebrate Captain Laviola's 37 and a half year career and we honor him and thank him and his family for his service to our town. We wish him continued success with the foundation and satisfaction and the career choices that come next. Captain Laviola. Well, above all, I think, you know, today is a day of remembrance for all our service people uh, that uh, are gone and, and also for those that are, that are still here with us. I think, first and foremost, that's the most important thing because that's what the Memorial Day is all about. And 
it just happens to uh, my my re my retirement and my being the grand marshal of the uh, the parade, a co-grand marshal, I should say. It just happens to coincide with it, which is very very nice, and, and I'm I'm touched by it. I really am. I'm uh, very humble about it, and. Uh, it, it, the whole, it's all bittersweet, you know. I mean, I'm here uh, over 37 years, and uh, I have a lot of good memories, of course. And it's nice that the town has recognized that. Without you, our country would not be a country. Rather, it would have little sense of unity and perhaps no patriotism. With you fighting in battles and changing our ways, this nation has formed into the strongest country in the world. Today, we cherish the soldier who has died and we revere those living, for he embraced the code of duty, honor, country. My name is Anthony Barbieri. I served in the 42nd Infantry Division of the New York Army National Guard. I served from 1963 till 1971, I believe. I was a, an infantryman the most basic of all military people you can become, but that's what I was. What does, what does Memorial Day to mean to me here in Alpine? Alpine's a very small town, and for the size of the town, we do, I think, a fantastic remembrance of those who lost their life in the wars to save this country, to be the greatest country there ever was and ever will be. I'm very proud to be part of the Alpine Fire Department, very proud to be a resident of Alpine, uh, oh, it's just a, a wonderful, very proud day to be an American. My name is Richard Glazer. I live here in Alpine. Uh, I am a veteran of the United States Army. Uh, I received a commission as a second lieutenant in June of 1961. Uh, served on active duty in 1962 and 63, and in the reserves uh, until mid-1967. Uh, I served uh, in the United States uh, for the whole time 
I was on active duty. And um, Memorial Day is a, a very meaningful day for me. Uh, I have lots of friends who served. Um, I knew someone who didn't make it back, who was killed in Vietnam. And another uh, friend of mine who was captured, he was a Navy pilot, was captured and spent six years in captivity in North Vietnam. He fortunately did get out and actually remained in the Navy and uh, retired just a couple of years ago as a, as a full captain. Uh, just tell me, what does it mean to you to see this parade and the, and, uh, and the recognition? Oh, it's wonderful. It's a bit of small town America. I've been living in Alpine for 42 years and a small town America eight miles from Manhattan. So it's, it's, uh, it's the best of both worlds. Um, the recognition of those who gave their all for their country, those who paid the price of having died, uh, and I'm sure most of them did not willingly do so despite the rhetoric. Um, it's, uh, it's just a way that we can pay a little bit of, of uh, tribute to their memories. But uh, I did serve in the Army Reserve and National Guard for 20 years, 30 years, 30 years, and uh, went to Operation Desert Storm in 1990, and Operation Joint Endeavor, which is a conflict in Bosnia in 1996. There I was stationed in uh, Germany uh, uh, at the higher headquarters. But uh, we're here to talk about um, those young men and women, those special young men and women who, who go off and they leave their families their loved ones, leave their friends, leave their communities to go off to fight for our principles and our ideals. And some of them do not return. And some do return with serious physical and psychological issues. We recognize that in government. And I think uh, when we look at what we are put together today to, uh, to assist these young men and women when they return, their program has improved but needs improvement. We can honor those who have fallen for us by leading a life of honor, by leading our lives in a way that would please those who have fallen for us. Every day, every deed, every month, every year. And now, for all here, and for all the fallen and their families, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. We've had a parade, we've had a Memorial Day program, and uh, now we are all gathered here at the Borough Hall to, uh, to get together uh, and have some refreshments. And the reason we go to, uh, to all the, uh, the trouble of putting on something like this uh, year after year is to show respect for the, the men and women of our armed forces 
who have worked uh, so hard for us and for our freedom, and in some cases have uh, taken it even the next step and actually sacrificed their lives in the service of our country. So it's our pleasure to, uh, to do the work, to, uh, to uh, show our respects to them, and also this event in uh, it so happens brings our uh, brings our town together. This is the uh, the major e town-wide event that we put on for the whole year. We do not do memorial. We do not do July Fourth. We do not do Labor Day because too many of our residents are away still. But uh, many of them come out to this, as you can see. And our school has been very much a part of this as well over the years. Today we recognize two of our senior employees: uh, our captain, Michael Laviola who uh, for 37 and a half years has served our town on our police force, and our chief school superintendent, Dr. Kathleen Semerjeff. So we were happy to designate them as grand marshals of our parade. Both of them uh, have plans to retire soon.